Number 16, well, I think you deserve an easy problem. So here's a nice easy problem. So whenever we have a, a quadratic that looks like this, okay? So you wanna make sure it's in this form of the square first and then the X next and then the constant, the number by itself. To find out whether it opens up or down, we always look at the A. This is the coefficient in front of the X squared. If A is greater than zero, well, that's a positive number, right? Those are positive numbers and positive people smile. So a parabola opens up. If A is less than zero, those are negative numbers. So negative people are sad, right? Parabola opens up down, opens down. So let's see, for ours, for A, we have this, right? So I just look at this front number, coefficient of front. If it's negative, that means it's going to open down. Okay, so I pick will open down. Okay, the next one, it says x squared plus 29x plus 3. I look at the number in the front, the coefficient in the front. Well, there is none. What is it? What is the number? When, well, there is none. Well, that's a 1. We just didn't write it, right? So it's a 1. It's a positive 1. So it's going to open up. Positive numbers, positive people, they smile, they open up. Okay? Number 17. Number 17 is a problem about the vertex. It's not a problem. Now, when it's in vertex form, we can read it with our eyeballs. But when it's not in vertex form, we have to calculate it. Okay? So, f of x is equal to negative x squared minus 8x minus 30. Okay? So, it asks us where the axis of symmetry and the vertex. To find the vertex when it's in standard form, we say the vertex, the x component, which when, on our vertex we call a vertex is always h and k. So our x coordinate is h. So for h, we're going to memorize negative b over 2a. This is what I'm going to memorize and put into my cheat sheet. So in our case, a is negative 1, right? And then b is negative 8, and then c is negative 30. Right? So I'm just going to replace the same thing. I, I make myself a little template with parentheses. That way I don't screw up the signs. B is negative 8 and A is negative 1. Notice that way I don't mess up my signs. It becomes 8 over negative 2, which is negative 4. Now be careful. This is only the X coordinate. So I have part of my ordered pair, but I'm still missing the second part. But with any X, I can always get the output. So if I have any x, I can get the y by just putting it back in. So what is f and negative 4? Well, that just means you put in a negative 4 everywhere there's an x. Once again, though, be very careful. And if you notice, I use parentheses wherever there was a variable. So this way I don't screw it up. So it's going to be 16 times a negative. So negative 16 plus 32 minus 30. So that's going to give me 2. It's going to give me negative 14. So now I can put that in as my y coordinate of my vertex. So my vertex is going to be negative 4, negative 14. That in here, it's an ordered pair. So the vertex always is going to be written as an ordered pair. Like that, okay? Now, it says state the equation for A of the axis of symmetry. So I just want to make sure you understand what that means. Let's clean this up a little bit. So this is piece of cake. This is going to be a nice, easy part of the, of the test because of this one is you're just going to memorize negative b over 2a. That gives you the k of the h, and then you put that back in, and it gives you the k. Okay? So what that means is my vertex would be at negative 4. And assuming these are 2s, so let's assume this is negative 2, and this is negative 1. All right, so negative 4, negative 14, it's down here. Okay, and I know that my parabola is sad because it's got a negative A. So it's going to be like this, right? So I, I closely graphed it. The next question says, what is the axis of symmetry, the equation? Well, the axis of symmetry is always through the vertex. 
So we're going to always memorize the equation for the axis of symmetry is always going to be x equals. It never changes because it's always a vertical line for a, uh, a quadratic that's going up or down. So we're going to always say x equals, and then you're just going to put the h. So my equation is always going to be x equals h. So my I would try, type in here x equals negative 4. There you go.